Okay, so uh, now that the harp has been has been assembled and put into one big frame in the sound box, you're getting ready to string it so it can have some sound. And so what I usually do to it's easiest if you lay the harp on its side so that the the body sort of falls off the table and you're on a nice flat surface with the with the harp like this and your your pins are right here on your under your right hand and the the opening on the back of the box is is right here. And I'll show you how to put on the strings now. I usually start with the with the the heaviest one, the 050 first, and I'm going to work my way back towards me. Um, so you you go into the string pack and you take the different strings out and you find the <coughs> the one marked with the 050. It'll say 050 and then actually the string numbers and the note that that's supposed to represent. And so you unstring it uncoil it and when you get it all uncoiled the tag is going to be on one end I, I encourage you to leave that tag on you'll see why you're just going to take the other end and you're going to put it through this first hole right right here and right down the bottom it's going to just fit through and it's going to poke out the back and you sort of just reach in the back with your fingers and you feel it and then you pull it out some more like that. You don't want to pull it out all, all the way of course because then you're just going to have to go put it in again. So, um, and so the knot that, that I've described in the instruction booklet with the harp is um, it's, it's, um, it's a little tricky. Tying these kind of knots are a little tricky but I'm, I'm going to see what I can do to show you. You start with the, the string from your left hand you know out about five or six inches and you, you're going to make a, a, a loop so that the string goes on top like that. You're going to pinch that loop like that. And then with this, with this part that still sticks out, you're going to make another loop. So you have like, like bunny ears, like that. And now here's important. You want to take this loop that you've made in your right hand and you want to put it through the left loop but from behind. Not on, not on top because then it's just going to uncoil, it's just going to unspring. But if you go from behind so that you have that loop sticking out and see I'm, I, so now I'm pinching it with my right thumb while I pull with my left. And that's, and that's how you make that loop. And then when you've tied this knot as such, you're going to pull this back this way until it stops. And then you wanna, you're going to want to try to like set the knot or snug the knot up. Or if you don't, then the, the string can constantly uh, slip as you're trying to tune it. So, so what I do is I, I wrap the string around my hand and I just uh, I give it a good, good tug to lock that knot inside in, in the back of the box here. So then when I've done that, I bring the string up to this first, first zither pin and I just you know, about, a, about an inch longer, about an inch past the pin is where I cut the string. And then I'm going to take the wrench and I'm going to find that hole. I'm going to put that in. Sometimes it's a little snug with the 050 because it, you know, it's just a thicker string, but it's going to get easier. And then I'm going to turn it First, I'm going to turn it once above, once below, and then back up. And then I'm going to fit it around so that it, it anchors itself on, on, the, on the bridge pin there. And you can tighten the string after you've... See, I didn't have to turn it too many times at all. Again, remember how I told you to just tap it in until that hole is about half an inch from the top of the wood. So it's really, it should only take just a few turns to, to set that. And then you just want to just give the string a little stretch. It's going to, the more you give strings the stretch as you're stringing it, the easier and quicker the harp is going to set. And like, uh, also if the knot is tight, it's going to help set quicker. Whereas if the knot slips, you're going to be, you'll find yourself, you know, just do, having to do a lot more tuning. So, so I'm just checking now and that knot is not slipping and it's anchored well up here. So then, well, so I'm just going to tighten it up. And if you had a tuner and you wanted to start tuning them right away, that would be, that would be the G.
it would be the low G. When you get to 036, there's, a, there's a, another feature that you have to do to avoid the strings from, from slipping. And you can, so what, what you'll want to do is with the, with the XS050 that, that was in the, the parts bag, you want to clip off some, some lengths of them because you're going to need them. You know, about a, you know, an inch or so long. Literally, you're going to make a slip knot around the string. So you're going to go around and then take, make a knot in that loop. Like that, so that, so that's going to slip, like that, back and forth. So you're going to slip, and here's where you take what we call a toggle, that little that little piece of the O50 that was left over that we clipped, and you're going to put that in in inside that loop, and then you're going to just tug on the loop to snug it up to that toggle. And then when you have it snugged up, you're going to let this go through. You're going to pull it to set it. You're going to come up, just like I've shown you, about an inch past. Clip it.